hello guys today we are going to discuss on how to achieve this requirement like so we are having one change request so according to change request type we have to make some description as default and then uh, suppose I am having a priority here uh, we have to set low high or medium so anything priority we can set so let's uh, make that priority as mandatory for this year because by default SAP gives only description as mandatory so now I will make description is mandatory priority is mandatory description defaulted directly so that one and other than this let's hide SER from this drop down so I want to hide this one suppose we are having requirement this CR type is only for background user something so we should not show it to the front end users so we have to hide this one so uh, other option for this is removing business activity for this so but we cannot use that because it is used for background program but we should not use if we remove business activity from this CR type it doesn't work even for background program so that's why we have to hide here only so so total three basic uh, requirements I will cover up now so first one so I am just opening notepad and I will cover three of them first one defaulting description of CR based on CR type other than this so hiding a CR type from drop down so after this making CR priority as mandatory for this CR type yeah so let's cover these three requirements in this video so I will start with this one because it is the first one which will get triggered compared to other two so I will start with the second one I will hide CR type from drop down so how can we do that so if we go to organization it is showing create customer parallel so I just want to uh, hide this one so first we want to know what is the CR type for that so for that let's go to MDJMG and then go to general settings process modeling and then change request create change request type so inside this option we will have CR descriptions and their key values so I just want what is the CR for that so create customer parallel it is having cust1 Z cust1 P1 so this one Z cust1 P1 should be hidden so let's start this requirement now so go back so I'm just closing this now inside process modeling inside this change request there will be some baddies yeah th this body I am just clicking on this so click on create implementation so I am creating this implementation for first time so zei underscore mdg underscore cr defaults CR UI props now in short text defaulting and setting field properties for CR UI I am just creating this enhancement now it will ask baddy name so I will just give ZBI underscore MDG underscore CR UI props so 
implementation class I have to create a new one or else I can give existing one so in this case I will create new one because existing class is not there so mdg underscore cr underscore ui underscore props so this is the name I am giving for the existing implementation class for creating new implementation class now I am clicking on ok local object is fine for me so now this class will get created gcl and all with, with its interface so save this implementation class so it got implemented so double click this we have to go into this class first of all so it, we can double click it it will show interface method is not yet been implemented so it should not come so we have to go to edit mode and create implementation for everything here so double click activate now go back activate this also so like this activate all four methods with empty implementations So all I have been activated now I can go here and go to filter values so go here we have to create a filter combination here by using this data model so we are working in business partner data model BP so I am just giving that comparator equal to ok save now I will activate this so now let's start debugging in this because I already know it but I want you to understand this one so let's go to filter C request type I will just keep debugger here and I will make you understand what is going on in this particular method so now I will click on organization so it is showing all this go back now I will click on customer governance again change request customer maintenance now I will click on new organization so after clicking this debugger will get triggered so this this will this is responsible for filtering change request types so now if I go to locals here desktop 3 locals just understand what is going on so I am getting entity here and model here entity means it is not like anything this is type 1 entity in business partner type 1 entity is BP header so whatever change request types that are appearing on the UI it will be there here this is changing table so changing table means the table uh, the all the descriptions which we are able to see in the UI those we are able to see in the form of its original form so its key, key values so now what I have to do is I have to remove this particular row from this so if I remove this from the debug mode let's see what happens so I will select this row and then I will go to delete selected rows yes I want to delete it now if I click on execute again I have to do it it will trigger again so we can see the difference now only 5 are appearing in the screen 
but previously six are appearing on the screen so we have hidden through debugger now so that means we understood we have to remove one row from this CR uh, this table so let's start doing that go to edit mode add that code so we can add like ct underscore c request type so this is the table so we have to we cannot do anything to tables directly we have to use delete statement delete where table line equal to z cust1 p1 because the table line we are giving because there is an issue here so this is the this is the table which is not having any structure format so if I double click this typing typing we can directly see line type it is directly data element it is not having any structure here that's why we have to give like this now I am activating this removing this go back now click on customer governance and go to change request and customer maintenance now as we have activated this code now that directly it should not show that change request here so the very simple guys this is straightforward we have to remove one parameter this from this table one row that's it it is very easy just one line of code is enough to remove this so we have hidden this change request so now what this is done I have hidden next requirement I want to default description based on CR type so I want to make description default for first we have to decide which is the CR type I want to do it for Z cust1 P2 because that is the one which is available here create customer planet is this CR type so now I will go to another method get C request attributes double click this so this method solely responsible for this method is responsible for defaulting values in the CR UIBB based on CR type so whatever whatever CR type we are getting here we can compare it if the if our change request is Z cust one p one then we can do it so I am just going into edit mode uh, giving if condition if IV C request type equal to Z cust one p two so if it is that CR type then what I have to do now I want to make CV underscore description equal to what description I want to give here that also we have to decide so I just want to make the description as create customer Z cust1 P2 so like this actually it will not be like this description we will have any other description based on the requirement so in this case as I am do, doing this for demo I am just keeping same one here in the description so I am just changing the description here and I am just end if nothing else this is more than enough activated this and then let's check what happens in the UI new organization planet ok so now in the CR description should be 
automatically present because of that code yes it is already present so this this is the method which makes the difference so this is done now rest of it I want to make change request priority as mandatory for this CR type so for, for which CR type Z cast one P2 CR type I want to make CR priority as mandatory so for the to do that just small code is also required for this also we have to go to set change request field properties so go double click this and here I will go to edit mode so first this is also same like previous one only based on CR type so if I V C request type equal to Z cast one P2 so if it is that CR type then what we have to do so before doing this if you are completely new to setting field properties just go double click this one any field property one so if you double click this it will go into field property data element again if you double click this domain you will get what are the values possible in this so C means optional R means read only M means required H means hidden so these are the four possible values to give field property so that means in our case we want to make priority as mandatory that means we have to give M in that so that's why now I will give M here so CV underscore priority field property equal to I will make it as M and if so I am just activating this that's it very short code for this also now I will check again first I will check with another CR type let's compare so with another CR type how it behaves let's see so I have opened this with another CR here we are not having any description because we are it is not that CR type which we have mentioned and also priority it is not showing as mandatory according to the code because it is filtering it out change request type and also we can see these two are not working now we have to go to this one now let's check what is the difference we can see in the UI so one field will get defaulted and another field will get mandatory so this field got defaulted and this field it is mandatory so if we don't give this one priority and if you click on check one error will come to maintain priority it is automatic it will be coming from system so enter a priority so after giving any any priority to this as low medium or high then it will be gone now click on check so it is asking only BP grouping the, it, it will not ask this one because we have maintained so that's it guys for today's video this is pretty much easy and if you have any uh, requirements related to CR level this is the only bad which you can use for most of the cases so thank you guys for listening